Hey everyone, welcome to Casual Economics. Today we're going to be talking about a really boring topic, uh, the Federal Reserve. Uh, but we're going to make it fun though. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. So, um, let's see here. Well, the Federal Reserve is neither federal nor a reserve, so we're off to a great start there. The Federal Reserve is the central bank of the United States. And the primary role of a central bank is to control the growth of an economy by increasing and decreasing the money supply in that economy. Now, ideally, we would like the economy to grow at a nice, steady, stable rate. But as history has shown us, sometimes greedy people on Wall Street make risky investments in order to benefit themselves, not taking into account the economic consequences that inevitably backfire and send the entire economy into a spiraling, burning mess. Also known as a recession. And of course, sometimes the economy grows at too fast of a rate. This is usually not sustainable and can also have negative effects. So. Basically, put simply, the Federal Reserve exists to try to keep our economic growth as stable as possible and the employment rate as high as possible. Now, a lot of people criticize the Federal Reserve for several reasons, like since the Federal Reserve is an independent bank, Congress has no input as to how the Fed is run. Yeah, this can be seen as pretty undemocratic because the appointed officials do not have to be elected by American voters in order to hold positions. Because of this, you might ask the question, is the Fed really acting in the best interest of the American people, or do they have other interests in mind? Let's see what else. Oh yeah, of course there's the fact that they are run by the Illuminati. Um, some people argue that the Fed is bad for the US economy because it devalues the US dollar. Still though, most economists agree that a central bank isn't all that bad and actually helps keep the value of America's currency stable. So we know that the Fed's job is to control the stability of economic growth and control the value of our currency. But how exactly do they do this? Well, they do this primarily through a process called monetary policy in which they control the amount of money in circulation in the American economy in a given time. The Fed can increase the amount of money in circulation. This is called expansionary monetary policy. Or they can decrease the amount of money in circulation. This is called contractionary monetary policy. By controlling the money supply, the Fed can indirectly affect interest rates. So if the Fed wants to lower interest rates, they can increase the money supply by putting more money into circulation. But how does more money lower interest rates, you might ask? Well, if the Fed increases the supply of money, this increases the amount of money banks have to loan out. Now, if you're a bank and you're trying to get people to borrow money from you, you want your loan to be attractive. So in order to do this, banks are forced to lower their interest rates. So you're probably wondering, what's the big deal about low interest rates? Well, these lower interest rates are good for the economy because they increase the demand for goods and services. How do they do this, you might ask? God, you ask a lot of questions. Well, let's say you want to get a loan to buy a car or a house. So you go to the bank and they say, yeah, okay, we'll give you a loan at a 20% interest rate. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, that seems a little high. Maybe I'll hold off. But if they offer you a loan at a 3% interest rate, you might be thinking, nice, where do I sign? Now, when Americans collectively do this, the overall demand or aggregate demand for goods and services increases. And more goods and services being purchased leads to a thriving economy. But as we know from basic economics, when demand for something increases, assuming supply stays the same, 
the price increases as well. So when we see a rise in aggregate demand, which is again a rise in the collective demand for all goods and services in the United States economy, we also see a rise in the general price level. So that exact same pop chart that used to cost $2 at the grocery store now costs $2.50. Nothing changed about the pop tart. It still has that same extremely mediocre taste, but now you have to spend more of your money in order to get the same thing. This phenomenon is known as, you guessed it, inflation. So you might be saying, the Fed is responsible for inflation, so the Fed really is bad after all. Well, inflation isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, all growing economies are most likely going to experience some form of inflation as their economies grow. And as long as this inflation occurs at a slow, stable rate, inflation's okay. Just watch out for hyperinflation though. That shit will mess your economy up. So, to recap, the Fed controls the growth of the economy by increasing or decreasing the money supply. This in turn influences interest rates and some other things, which affects aggregate demand for goods and services. And this change in aggregate demand leads to either inflation or deflation. So during a recession, for instance, the Fed might pump money into the economy in order to try to combat the negative effects of a recession, such as spikes in the unemployment level. Now, pumping all of this money into the economy is definitely going to negatively affect the value of US currency. But the Fed is basically deciding that this increase in inflation is worth it in order to combat the spike of unemployment and attempt to stimulate the economy. Whether it's okay to do this is of course debatable, but it's really not because remember we have no say in what the Fed does. So the question of the efficiency of the Federal Reserve and whether it's necessary will probably continue to be a topic of discussion but I don't think the Fed is going anywhere anytime soon, and that's probably okay. What's not okay though is not liking and subscribing, so make sure you do that. And if you guys have a topic you want me to cover, drop it in the comments below.